On March 3, 2024, at approximately 5 o'clock a.m., U.S. Border Patrol Tactical Unit, BORTAC, Border Patrol agents were conducting operations in the Puebla Tree area of Ote Mountains, approximately five miles east of the Ote Mesa port of entry. BORTAC was actively monitoring this area, where there's a road winding through the mountains, because of recent reports of armed robberies and assaults targeting groups of migrants crossing into the United States. A small group of BORTAC agents were concealed approximately 70 yards north of the border along a ravine near the road. Additional BORTAC agents, including a precision marksman, were positioned on high ground approximately 275 yards away, providing overwatch of the area. Investigators, including CBP OPR special agents, interviewed migrants who were apprehended in the area minutes after the shooting. Based on their interviews, a group of migrants were walking on the road in the early morning hours when they were approached by four individuals, at least one of whom was armed with a handgun. According to the witnesses, the armed individual demanded money from the group, racked his pistol to chamber around, and pointed the weapon at one of the migrants. The migrants heard a single gunshot and observed the armed individual fall to the ground. The Bordac agents involved in the incident reported a similar description of events. They observed the armed individual threaten the migrants, chamber around, and point a gun at one of the migrants, at which time the BORTAC precision marksman fired one round, striking the armed individual at approximately 6.56 a.m. A BORTAC agent, located approximately 30 yards away from the subject who had been shot, fired a less lethal 40 millimeter launcher two times, deploying two chlorobenzaldine malononitrile CS gas munitions, which formed a cloud in the area. BORTAC agents reportedly observed three individuals run away from the area and head south towards Mexico. At approximately 6.57 a.m., BORTAC agents approached the subject who had been shot. Footage of the agent involved shooting was not captured on any of the agent's body-worn cameras. The body-worn camera videos will show the agent's actions following the shooting. These videos contain graphic content. Your discretion is advised. The first two minutes were recorded during the buffer period and do not have audio. Hey, we gotta clear up here at the road bit, we're a blind spot right there. The following is body worn camera video from an agent at the scene of the incident. Hey, keep covering the guys, keep covering the guys, they're coming in now.
Ang kwaro. Additional arm south. Additional arm south. Keep, keep covering them. Keep covering them. Hey, that's copy. You're getting eyes on. At approximately 6.59 a.m., BORTAC agents broadcast over service radio that shots had been fired. The following are U.S. Border Patrol radio transmissions from the incident. Just really, there's been shots fired out of public tree. What's your start number? We're relaying for other agents down there. At approximately 7.02 a.m., a BORTAC agent who was providing overwatch to the BORTAC agents that approached the subject on the ground again advised over service radio that shots had been fired and agents were setting up a perimeter while clearing the area to ensure the scene was secure. At approximately 7.05 a.m., a BORTAC agent requested medical assistance from Border Patrol agent, emergency medical technicians, and emergency medical services via service radio. The following is body-worn camera video from an agent at the scene of the incident. This is a report on um, shots fired at um, Pueblo Tree. Um, subject um, um, seems to be down. Um, agent fired uh, one shot. Subject down at Pueblo Tree. This is about um, a few minutes down. We're setting up a east perimeter and a west perimeter. East perimeter at um, the uh, or close to on close on to that would be the uh, and then a west perimeter set up at the beginning set up. Still a hot scene. Um, QRF or um, work out QRF is still clearing the area. Yep. Last who was that? Up, but we need a, a western perimeter set at and not let anybody pass that location. Uh, still clearing the area, they're still um, on subject south of our QRF right now. Um, at this point, it's not, not quite uh, clear yet. I have any last one. The bodies that ran, the, they need to keep them. Yeah. Hold them. Yeah, I know. We'll, we'll have to do that. Okay. We, we, we will find them. Hey, good copy. East perimeter, let me know when you're set. Another one south. Keep eyes You need to keep looking for that because I can't. Yeah, yeah. I'm on the radio. Yeah, Say a firm on the EMS, um, but at this point, at, at this point, have EMS um, rolled a uh, still trying to make sure that the scene is clear, and um, we'll have um, four star or uh, AEMT um, get down there and provide um, measures um, once once it's clear. It's not clear yet. The following is body-worn camera video from an agent at the scene of the incident.
just getting flipped over. Maybe see, gotta fire this firearm. Just getting flipped over. See if we can find this where this firearm's at. It might still be on it. Let's see where it's at. Let go, let go. I don't see any exit. See any exit one? No. There it is right there. Sorry. Okay, just leave it as, as is. Hey, okay, keep an eye around me, man. I'm gonna put something gauze in this guy. Anything there? Okay, move it. That's fine. I don't see any other uh, entry or exit wounds. Yeah, that was the only entry one right there. I heard two shots, but. So now he had the weapon. The impact made him throw it over here. Uh, yeah, it should be somewhere over here. Let me push up and just make visual with them because I can't see them. Just, just hold, we'll let them hold in place. That's a problem, bro. Hey, right, Tim right You see any of uh, the drum subjects? So. Hey, you want me to make it up there? I got vision. Okay, no, just stop. Hey, just continue holding. Make sure those guys don't double back. This up here. Remember, we got over one. Yeah, yeah. We're going to here. We're here for this area. <clears throat> here. Yeah. Right here. 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 <laughs> hey, scene secure. Head down, head down. Hey, what a relay. We got the split to head down our way. Vortac agents applied pressure to the gunshot wound for approximately 13 minutes until the Border Patrol agent EMT 
and another Border Patrol agent, a former EMT, arrived on scene at approximately 7.16 a.m. The Border Patrol agents performed a medical assessment of the armed individual and assumed medical care responsibility until emergency medical services arrived on the scene. The following is body-worn camera video from an agent at the scene of the incident. Do you know the status of EMS? Yeah, I'm a sub ventilating them. Okay. In response. Uh, what did you try relay? No, un no unresponsive, no vitals. Uh, just relay, unresponsive, no vitals. You could say a uh, proof of dressing to a GSW 556 GSW to the uh, or I don't know if that's GSW to the uh, uh, applied at 720. Um, no vitals since 722, and uh, NPA and OPA have been applied. Gotcha. Uh, what are your suggestions? Bring EMS here. Take yeah. it to EMS. We could we could move. Them. Uh, it'd be easier to have the EMS here. Yeah, it seems seems secure enough. Yeah. At approximately 7:59 a.m. San Diego County Fire Authority EMS personnel arrived at the scene of the shooting and assumed control of providing emergency medical care to the wounded individual. They applied an intravenous line and continued CPR on the wounded individual. The following is body-worn camera video from an agent at the scene of the incident. If you haven't already notified an EMS on scene. Sir. Hello. Hello. Sorry. Male subjects, uh, approximately about 710, gunshot. Uh, shot where? They could give you more information okay. on that, but it looks like abdomen, the chest. The single? Single, yes. Okay. How long have they been doing? 710? Uh, 710, initial shots, yes. So about just uh, just shot of an hour ago? Yeah, EMS were on scene, or I mean, I'm sorry, these EMTs were on scene, uh, about about eight, eight, minutes, eight, eight minutes after. More. 30, 40. Copy this. You guys want to get CPR? Let's get, uh, get them on the pads. Yeah. At approximately 8.14 a.m., after telephonically consulting with local EMS at the scene of the shooting, the physician at Sharp Grossmont Hospital pronounced the wounded individual deceased. The decedent was identified as a 32-year-old male citizen of Mexico. Investigators recovered a 45 caliber Glock 36 pistol near the decedent's body. The pistol contained one round in the chamber and four rounds in the magazine. Following this encounter, agents apprehended 17 migrants in the area. Of the 17, nine migrants reportedly witnessed the incident. The three individuals who were possibly armed were not apprehended, absconded from the area, and reportedly fled into Mexico. On March 5, 2024, the San Diego County Medical Examiner's Office conducted an autopsy of the deceased individual. The autopsy report is pending. This incident is currently under investigation by the San Diego County Sheriff's Department, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, and CBP's Office of Professional Responsibility. The investigation is still in the early stages. Once the investigation has concluded, CBP's National Use of Force Review Board will review the incident. CBP will share the results of the board review once it is complete. Thank you for watching Audit Oblivion. If you found this video informative, leave us a like. And if you are new here, give us a follow.